Hello Cheese Stick here, back inside of Halo the Master Chief Collection, and today I'm doing no stone unturned. We have to find all eight terminals inside of Halo 3. Now the first one we come across is on the Ark. This is in the first area. As soon as you clear the AA gun area, just as a point of reference here. Um, so anyway, you're going to drop down this area here, and as soon as you walk inside of the building, I do go for some ammo here for just a second, because I try to see if there's ammo. But anyway, for the first door on your left, there's also a second one on your left. You go straight forward to continue, but if you take the first or second door on your left, you will come into this room, which, of course, has your terminal. Now, you can view this at your own leisure, uh, because this does take a while. As you can see, I did speed this up quite a bit. Uh, tap A once, and then it will lock up on you, and this is intentional. Let it run. Do not press B under any circumstances, or at least until the achievement pops. Um... Because as soon as you get to the second area of the terminal, uh, the achievement will pop. And that is our first achievement for this guide. Yay! Rising Waters. Not exactly sure what that's a reference to, but I didn't really read the terminal all that well enough to, you know, remember it. But anyway, that's the first one. Second one, same exact mission, the Ark. Uh, this will be the second area. You'll go right in the tank for a bit unless you're doing the uh, one achievement for not going in a vehicle, but anyway, once you go to the light bridge area, this is actually that area right here, uh, you will have, you have to turn it on, I would turn it on first before you do this, but that's up to you, activate the terminal, same thing as the last time, uh, tap A once when uh, it finally uh, loads, and once it does, uh, it'll lock up on you, same thing as last time, it'll take you to another area, like it did before, like actually all the terminals do is except for one of them, which is actually the uh, seventh terminal, which actually is a different name. It's called Cortana's Terminal. There's a little fun fact in there I'll reveal once we get there. But anyway, that is... I can't really read the preview screen here I'm using as a reference. Indiation. Anyway, moving on. This is the third one for the arc. We are in the building. Uh, you will face the scarab. You'll grab the cowbell skull if you want a ref point of reference. But anyway, as soon as you enter this room, drop down. Guilty Spark actually goes into this room, which is actually kind of a, I don't know, a weird spoiler alert. It's like, oh, I want you to learn your history, because that way you can learn that I'm going to eventually kill you later, or something. I don't know. But anyway, I know the story. It's just one of those, yeah, I don't know what else to put in here. Anyway, same thing. Tap A. It will lock up on you. This is actually a log between uh, one of the bias AIs and Guilty Spark. But anyway, that'll give you before the fire. And they'll give you Terminal 3, of course that's on the Ark. And after this, just go ahead and complete the mission because there's nothing else in here. So now, we are now going to go to the Covenant. Uh, we is, This is the first uh, first area, the first tower, sorry, this is the first tower we'll clean out. I have already done us all a favor and cleaned out all of the enemies. All I've done is gone back to record. Yay! There are two ways to get up there. You can either go via the elevator or you can climb these stacks of... Uh, things and crouch jump up here then crouch jump up here and then we're just gonna go on over to the terminal I just had to grab some more ammo first and once you do do the same thing as you did before <clears throat> excuse me where uh, terminal tap a once it'll lock up on you and as soon as you do that same thing as before take you to a new area is actually why I sped it up and then it will the achievement will unlock this time we have the tipping point uh, again, all these are worth 5 gamer score. You should have 40 by the end and a 20 for uh, no stone unturned. So, should have, I probably should have mentioned that before, but you know how things kind of slip my mind. Anyway, we are going to continue to depart with the Hornet. Now, you'll see this jump uh, weirdly because I forgot the controls for the Hornet. I forgot that right bumper escapes, doesn't lower. Yeah, so anyway, we're going to fly over to this tower. This is the tower that one of your allied phantoms are at. So go ahead and fly over here. They'll say there's nothing here. You'll see another jump here in just a second. That's because I picked up the skull and then rewound and cut this. Because it's the exact same area. Walk forward here and then just go to the terminal. And of course, <clears throat> excuse me, same thing as before. Just go ahead and uh, speed through it. Just don't press B. Uh, tap A once. It'll lock up on you just as before. And then, of course, it will take you to the new area. I keep saying this, but yet I feel like I need to for some weird reason. But anyway, that'll give you Unto Dust, which, of course, 5 gamer score. And, of course, you can read through the rest of the terminal if you want, or just press B. I recommend reading through the rest of it, because it's got some cool Halo lore in it. So, anyway, we are now going continuing on to the Covenant. Uh, this is the third area. This is the third tower. 
Um, as before, we had to go on to the left for the terminal. This time we have to go to the right. This is actually the reason why I'm going to the right. Um, inside this room up here is, a, is the terminal. But we have to go all the way around to get to it and jump across the elevator. Luckily, it's one of those I have to turn it on elevators in order to work. I probably should have sped this up a slight bit, but kind of unnecessary. Again, I've cleaned out all of the enemies as it makes it tons easier to get through this area. Or to get these guides done, if you know what I mean. But anyway, we're just going to go over here. And as soon as we clear this bridge, don't even need the crouch jump, but you can if you want the extra space. Um, just go ahead and do as we did before. Hold your activation button. For me, it's right bumper. For you, it may be B or X, depending on how you have it set up. Of course, everyone has their own different setups. But anyway, same thing as before. Tap A, and it will lock up on you as before. And once you do that, uh, it'll take you to the new area, wherever it may be. I apologize to anyone who may be slightly epileptic. Yeah, that's kind of not fun with those terminals. But anyway, that'll give us the Babbling Dead. Kind of an interesting one. That was actually a transmission by the Librarian. Alright, so, now we have completed all inside of the Covenant. We are now going on to Cortana. Now, note this will be when you drop down a hole. I've sped this up slightly. This is the only weird one, because it's not actually a terminal number. It's just called Cortana's uh, Terminal. And the actually achievement title is actually an Easter egg, if you want to call it that, because... Um, you'll see it here in just a second. Uh, she talks about how it's her fault that you're involved. The coin's fault. This is actually a reference to the fall of Reach. Read the book if you haven't. Fantastic. It's actually a reference to the reason why it's the coin's fault is because John got a quarter. And yeah, it, I'm not going to reveal much more than that, but it's a pretty interesting story. But anyway, we are on the arc, not the arc, Halo, final mission of the game. Very beginning area. Now you'll see... Uh, you've just cleared the mythic skull, so if you need a point of reference, this is towards the very beginning. You'll be a good minute or two in, maybe three if you got the skull. But anyway, as soon as you reach this little superstructure area, there'll be a drop-off straight ahead, but instead take a right. Now, Cortana will say something on the lines of, uh, hey, you don't have to go over here. That's not the way to do the arc, or something along those lines. But as soon as you get to this area, she'll say something along the lines of, what's that? So go ahead and access it. Same thing as before. Um, the terminal will take you to an initial uh, log here. Tap A once. Um, I read that completely. And once you do, it'll lock up on you. And it will take you to another log, like it does before. <clears throat> and once it does, the achievements will unlock. However, after it says uh, no data left, press A one more time. It's actually kind of cool. I actually saved a screenshot of it on my uh, live account. Kind of a cool thing, at least for my upload. Uh, whatever. But anyway, that gives a shortened sh sword and shield... I sword, sword, whatever. Um, also, no stone unturned, um, and this also brings you one step closer to Lore Master. So, only the terminals in Halo 4 left, if you followed me so far. But yes, that is all the terminals inside of Halo 3. Some people forget about Cortana's terminal. It actually, kind of shouts out to you, and no one. Some people just pay it no, no mind. Don't know why they don't. But anyway, there you guys go. Thank you guys for watching. If this helped you, hit like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. And as always, have a great, beautiful day. Hopefully, I'll see you guys all next time. But in the meantime, why don't you check out my other videos? And until then, have a good one.